Just accidentally being stabbed by a splinter or sharp thorn in the hand also makes us feel pain and extremely uncomfortable. How do you feel looking at these pictures? I feel a little uncomfortable for them. It is so bad if unfortunately being stabbed by these porcupine spines. Is there any chance of survival for these unfortunate animals? Let's find the answer. Reasons not to touch a porcupine. An African rock python about 4 meters long was found dead at Lakerland Reserve in South Africa, with its internal organs pierced. The giant python with a swollen abdomen, it seemed to have died because it could not digest something in its stomach. Can you guess what's in its stomach? After surgery to find out the cause of this death, it was found that the python's meal was a porcupine weighing 13.8 kilograms. The special thing about this dish has not been digested inside the body of the python, was pinned full of porcupine thorns, making him unable to survive. It seems that this python's meal is not very appetizing. This is the last meal, even quite painful. While some carnivores can avoid porcupines thanks to their eyes, pythons and predatory snakes rely on heat sensing to find food at night. Therefore, the python will not anticipate that it can swallow death at any time. Recklessness sometimes costs every animal very dearly. If you want to try the feeling of being covered by magic armor, the animals can tease and attack the porcupine. Porcupines will be very happy and share these dangerous weapons with them. This dog dares recklessly and aggressively attacks the porcupine without thinking about the consequences. And suddenly its body turned into a ball of thorns. But this dog is lucky, because it discovered by its owner in time and taken to the doctor to remove these poisonous spikes. A spectacular escape. Without these extremely realistic images, it would be difficult for me to believe that the leopard could be killed by its own prey. Leopards are Africa's most successful carnivores, not only having diverse hunting skills, but they also do not refuse any prey in sight. Thus, contrary to many other carnivores that often seek to avoid porcupines, leopards do not give up easily when confronted. They still attack enthusiastically, even though they know they may be seriously injured. Perhaps the leopard will think better to be injured than to starve. The leopard's chance to win and earn a meal is not without risk. However, on an unfortunate day, anything can happen. Leopards have been pierced by sharp and extremely poisonous porcupine spines. The wound was so severe and painful that the leopard had no chance of survival. If it is lucky to be detected and treated in time, perhaps this leopard still has a chance to live. But unfortunately, that cannot happen in this cruel wild world. Did you know porcupines are so sharp and hard that they can pierce an aluminium can? So what happens when it penetrates our skin? Surely it hurts a lot more when a splinter is stabbed in the hand, right? The porcupine can be compared to a mobile fortress as they possess a massive arsenal of weapons on their backs, giving this animal an almost absolute defense in the natural world. If the porcupine feels threatened, they will first raise their sharp thorns, grind their teeth, and secrete a foul smell to chase away the enemy. If the opponent deliberately provokes the porcupine, the porcupine will actively attack. When pressure is applied to the spike, like an elastic spring, the spike will automatically be released from the porcupine's skin. You can imagine like in Chinese movies, soldiers use bow and arrows to shoot straight at the enemy. Sometimes just a poison arrow at the tip can kill an enemy. However, this arrow has a large size, a high level of toxicity, and also partly depends on the location of the puncture, which can lead to such a case. It's not that bad, 
Even though it's poisonous, it's not to the point of causing people to die. But removing the porcupine spines from the body is not easy. Because the stabbing force is not small, the spikes often have ridges surrounding the spike and will stick firmly into the victim's body. So whether it is a human or an animal, if it's accidentally stabbed by a porcupine spike, I think if you wear iron armor or use these Captain America shields, you will certainly never be afraid of these poisonous porcupine feathers piercing your body. Have you ever thought that porcupine spikes can puncture car tires? Sharp nails or sharp iron objects can do this, but how can these porcupine spikes? You'll be extremely surprised to see these images. The test shows that porcupines can completely puncture a hard and thick car tire. Really unbelievable. So do porcupines have any weaknesses? It is possible that no animal can defeat this little porcupine. The Lord of the Forest has spoken, and the answer is there. Lions certainly will not be foolish enough to rush into a dangerous animal like a porcupine, because the food source is exhausted and the harshness of the environment means that they have to risk their lives to hunt the porcupine. Do lions ever fail to hunt porcupines? Yes, porcupine spines can also blind lions and burst blood vessels. However, these jungle kings can still devour the porcupine with powerful bites. To be able to defeat small prey, but have powerful weapon like a porcupine, strength is not the decisive factor, but rather grasping the opponents a seen heel. The porcupine has sharp spikes, but it's not completely covered, so it must always turn towards the opponent so that the layer of spikes can be effective or curl up if it feels endangered. Just by attacking the part without sharp spikes, the lion completely defeats the opponent easily. The location that the lion often targets is the belly with soft fur, which the porcupine always wants to hide and not let any enemies approach. Each animal species will have different strengths and weaknesses, Promoting their strengths and hiding their weaknesses is the best way for porcupines to survive in this natural world. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe this video to supporters. Goodbye and see you in the next video.